Get it immediately. In this video series, we're looking at narrative. This first video looks at binary opposition, Prop's fairy tale characters, and Todorov's equilibrium theory. Narrative is related to audience theory, as narrative is created to appeal to an audience. Narrative elements are created to entice an audience or to keep them interested. Narrative and storytelling seem to be similar across different cultures, as most themes are consistent in old folk stories, even though the cultures may not have even met. So what are the common traits of storytelling? We'll start with Vladimir Prop. He studied Russian folk stories and suggested that characters and stories all have a narrative function. He came up with 31 functions of characters. I'm not going to go through each of these, instead I'll put a link in the description at the bottom. They're fairly self-explanatory. Probably more useful for us is that he also suggested there are seven common character types that appear in most folk stories. So can we still see these in our stories and films today? The first of these seven character types is the hero. This should be fairly self-explanatory. Let's apply these character types to Star Wars. So our hero is Luke. Then we have the villain, who struggles against the hero. The villain in this case is the evil emperor. Or, depending on which episode you're watching, Darth Vader. Then there's the donor or the enabler, who prepares the hero in some way or gives the hero some magical object. In this case, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. He trains Luke and gives him a lightsaber. Then there's the helper, who helps the hero in their quest. In this case, it's the droids. Actually, are these the droids we're looking for? <laughs> then there's the princess. Oh, that's definitely not the princess we're looking for. Why does Darren feel like he has to dress up like that? So the princess is often sought for during the narrative. Then there's the false hero. So they're perceived as a good character in the beginning, but emerges as evil later on. In this case, Lando Calrissian. Again, depending on which episode, perhaps Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker. Then there's the Dispatcher, a character who sends the hero off on their quest. In this case, it's Obi-Wan Kenobi or R2-D2. R2-D2 delivers the message, Obi-Wan sends him out. So there's Prop's seven character types, and we can relate this to many mainstream films. Our next theorist is Todorov, who suggested that conventional narratives are structured in five stages. These stages start with a state of equilibrium, where all's normal. Then there's a disruption of the equilibrium. Then there's a recognition by the main characters of this disruption. Then there's an attempt to repair the disruption, often the main bulk of the story, after which there's a reinstatement of the equilibrium, where all's back to normal. So let's apply this to Star Trek's Into Darkness. At the start of the movie, we see the equilibrium, which is Spock and Kirk on their adventures. And back home at planet Earth, Everything's great, calm and peaceful. Then there's the disruption, where parts of London get blown up. This disruption continues as Kirk and his colleagues are attacked. This overlaps slightly with the recognition of the disruption, because Kirk is finding out what's happening. And when they do realise what's happening, they need to repair it. They attempt to repair it by going after the person who caused the disruption. And in this attempt to repair, lots of fighting happens with lots of tense scenes. I can't do anything. Then, in the end, everybody dies. No, of course not. It's a reinstatement of the equilibrium. So we're pretty much back to where we started, with of course a few minor changes. This type of narrative structure is very familiar to us and can be applied to many mainstream film narratives. We can develop this idea of storytelling with Claude Levi Strauss and his notion of binary opposition. He suggested that all narratives are driven by a constant creation of conflict and that narrative can only end on a resolution of this conflict. Often this can be as simple as good versus evil, but it doesn't have to be this simplistic. It might be light and dark or fear and confidence. So hopefully that's given you an insight into binary opposition, props fairy tale characters, and Todorov's equilibrium theory. In the next video we're looking at Bath's narrative codes and Cameron's modular narratives.